We got a little bit of time to get to work. Had to get some extra stuff done with my videos today. But with that complete, it's time to squat. Try to get warmed up and get some work done. Today's Thursday, the meet is on Monday. So we gotta do gotta do a little bit, a little bit of tuning up. See how it goes. A little bit of tuning up. Yeah, I mean how 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 can that be the decision, you know what I mean? <clears throat> how can that possibly be the decision? Cal with the 35 months. Man, another big ol' resub. Yeah, let me be streamed. I mean, well, I'll stream my, like, my perspective, but I believe the main stream will be on Tyler One's channel. So, that'll be fun. Yep. That'll be a good time. Good time. I'm trying to get the, the hype train going first thing in the day. Oh, baby. I feel like Ugh. Should be okay to get some stuff done today. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's absolutely psychotic. Like, I, I, I don't know. Some deep fucking corruption. I don't know. That's insane. Like, how can that be their, the move, you know? How could that be the decision? But who knows? Who knows? Absolute psychotic shit, but whatever. Oh well. See how it goes. Hey, Chicken Power Up Super Saiyan 2 says, Thank you so much, man. Let's go, bro. Let's go. Thank you, thank you. Super Saiyan 2 times 2. Big power, baby. Let's go. We're gonna keep those Super Saiyan Ascensions coming so we can just live, so I can just build an armored compound and live there and never leave. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> just, lock, just lock it down, boys. <laughs> lock it down. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Big time Super Saiyan 2 power. Let's go, baby. Do I need to move this up one more? I don't think so. I don't think we're all right here. Maybe not. It's actually, it, it's literally fucking insane, yeah. Literally fucking insane decision. Makes no sense. Especially if you know what's going on. Like, how much are they, like, how much are they fucking paying these people? Like, what do they, what do they have on them? What do they have on these people to be making them have these decisions? Chris, thanks for 27 months, man. Thank you, thank you. I don't know, dude. I don't know. One of the sort called Black Abyss. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I, I have no idea. Makes no sense. No. Absolute psychotic shit, man. But whatever. We'll squat and then we'll go from there. You know? It was, it was a struggle today, Chris. It was a struggle today. Legit. It was a legit struggle. Are we just anti 2A and freedoms here? Uh, I don't know if I'm just anti freedom, but I, I definitely would feel more comfortable if there weren't just guns everywhere. <laughs> People just weren't packing heat at all times. I would, I would feel more comfortable that way, personally, yeah. I don't know if that makes me anti-freedom. <clears throat> I don't know about that one. 
Yeah, I, I personally don't want people just be ha w wearing guns around. That's gonna make me uncomfortable for sure. I, did, I definitely don't feel safer <laughs> with people just packing heat. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's all good. BG man, we're on we're on uh, Black Abyss. How tall is the ceiling? Uh, I don't know. How tall are ceilings usually in a garage? You can pack around and feel safer? No, that, that, that does not make me feel safer, no. I mean, half the people shouldn't even be driving, let alone carrying a gun, you know what I mean? Like, no. That's not good. I, I don't... I would feel much safer if nobody had guns, but... I don't know, brother. I don't know. I don't know about that. People make, people make terrible decisions all the time. They just don't usually end people's lives, hopefully. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I would just fucking leave. If I see somebody coming and just carrying a gun around, I just fucking leave. I'm not dealing with that, dude. I don't, uh, people are not trustworthy. I don't know, bro. constantly. You know what I mean? Unfortunate disagree that's awkward. Is it? Is it unfortunate or awkward that we disagree? That's okay. It's okay to disagree. Tom, thanks for the 68 months, man. Big flex for you. Appreciate it, bro. It's okay to disagree. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Exactly. I mean... People, people are very unreliable. <laughs> like I said, <laughs> I don't sure that's half people to just even like drive a car, <laughs> let alone have a gun, you know what I mean? Like, it's not, not the right move. But whatever. We'll just try to stay focused on our work right now and go from there. No, if you're, if, like, realistically, if somebody has a gun, I don't want to be around them. And maybe that's their idea with bad guys. Bad guys don't want to be around me. No, I, don't, I really don't trust people. No. <clears throat> I have no idea what people's intentions are. So, yeah. Here we go. I don't like that. No, don't, do not like that. But I don't know where that comes from because it seems to be directly in opposition to like what's going on, right? And what should happen. But yeah, who knows? Psychotic stuff. Should know. I mean, I'm a, I'm a warrior player. I don't like range DPS. I don't like that range stuff. No way. Yeah, this, this should be no surprise to you. Uh, range DPS is super, super, super OP. Shouldn't be, shouldn't be. So never just packs. You know what I mean? Pack and heat. That does not create a safer environment. It is an objective fact. More guns does not make a safer environment. It's not an argument. It is an objective fact. So what what are you doing it for? You know what I mean? Because it's not to make it safer. It's just objectively, obviously clear. More guns does not make it safer. 
it is an objective fact, so why are you doing it? You know what I mean? Oh, okay. Hey, your squat form is off. I would recommend facing your body away from the camera as you squat. Towards the screen is impaired to your success. We're wearing tight, so okay, okay. I'll, I'm gonna have to pick that up next time, just because my setup is kind of how it is right now. Yeah. 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 Don't boo, vote. You, you, don't, you, don't, you have uh, not a whole lot of control over the Supreme Court. The, 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 in my understanding, the current president can appoint, can appoint Supreme Court justices, but yeah. Not much to do other than that, unless I uh, misunderstand how that works, which I might. Which I might, yeah. Not sure. Can you open carry a loaded weapon? Isn't that what they're working on? You, you, you can you can like fill me in. You can enlighten me, but that's my understanding. Yeah, it's kind of fucking insane. Yeah, there's some really freaky stuff going on, man. Really freaky stuff going on. Like the like the the darkness and corruption is like openly apparent. It's like out in, out in broad daylight. It's actually insane. Yeah, pretty crazy. Sometimes it's not as, as blatant, but yeah, it's pretty wild. There we go. I think we need to go down one bracket, maybe. We'll see. Right, but you, well, that's not what we're talking about, Kudoslav, right? The United States is not currently under as obvious of a situation as you. I posted it as a story. Should I, should I post it on my normal video? You think? Oh, 
Well, I'll do that real quick for you. I'll do it, I'll do it. One second. If you insist. If you insist, Lanster, let me fix this real quick. If you say so. Yeah, I don't know, hey man, that's insane. Scary stuff. I'm sorry, man. Scary freaking stuff. Big leg day, yeah, we're gonna try. Thanks, Quinlan. New footage is uploaded. Yep. Kavita, like I said, brother, we're talking about the United States. Your situation is different, my man. I'm sorry, it is too. You're in a freaky spot. It's a little bit different, though. You know what I mean? Okay, if you insist. Okay, that's all live, let's go. Let's go. D despite what the United States might like to think, we are not actually under invasion or huge threat of invasion most of the time. Despite the sort of growing invasion of like stupidity, you know, willful ignorance in the face of evidence, hyper conservatism, bigotry, racism, you know, homophobia, th that's the growing wave that needs to be resisted. But ideally, we do that without sort of like needing warfare for that, right? But yeah. That's actual fucking insanity. But anyway, here we go. Let's try to keep squat a little bit. Try to narrow our perspective just for a little while. Just enjoy, enjoy the ability for us to focus on what's ahead of us for the moment, right? Here we go. Literal fucking psych, psychotic shit. Here we go. get guns <laughs> and less protection from you know or being arrested and stuff great what a great combo what a great combo <sighs> thanks Casper 
Yeah. People can just decide it was in self-defense. I felt threatened, so I shot this guy. Nice. Let's get on the checklist. Are you white? All right, that's a good self-defense. Good clean kill. Minority? Oh, no, no, no. We actually have to arrest you for that. And you don't get to be read your rights now, actually. That's, that's a different situation. I'm just, you know, luck of the draw, I guess. What? Like... Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's really the literal truth. Kind of insane. Yeah. Kind of insane. Yep. Yeah. That's what I don't, I don't know, man. It doesn't make any sense. Oh well. There we go. I don't, I don't think I'd see what you said earlier, but... No. What's going on, Mr. Coilins? Yeah. Had a progressive resume. I went slowly, over time. I'll, by feel, to an extent. What are you settling into? It's another, another day in the gym, baby. Another day in the gym. more tunes. All right. I would do squats and deadlifts on different things. Yeah. All right, you're Russian bot. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Going on the checklist. I need to defend my home from invasion. Guy, guy trying to attack you. Isn't that a mental problem? Yep. All right, you're a, you're a fucking nuts, bro. You're fucking insane. Take a day off. Somebody steps up to you, you shoot him in the chest. That'll teach him. Oh shit. You're fucking nuts. Oh my god. Always oh, pull the trigger. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Can't be trolling that hard, man. It's too early for that. I'm not even got done with our warm up sets. Holy crap. That is a mental problem, bro. If somebody is mad at you, and you're in a in, and you're in a heated situation, and your first response is to shoot somebody and take their life. You have a mental problem. People can lose their temper. Talk it out, you know. Figure it out. Taking somebody's life is not the answer. Please believe. Holy shit. Oh. You guys are gonna make this a really tough workout if you saying stupid shit like that. I don't know how many calories are burning versus lifting versus cardio. Eat the same amount, exercise the same amount, and see what happens. Best way to do it. Yeah. Sets of weights, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. 
Eu vou ser. Roof laser work has 30 minutes to from there. Yeah. I don't know if this is a lazy workout, definitely not very. It's kind of a late start. And a weird start, but we'll see what's up. Hopefully we'll be able to focus at some point. What's crazy is that Pato has been sub for like three years and is like surprised about my position. I feel like we like we like upset him. It's like, do you like you've been here, you know me. Like, what do you think I'm gonna say? I don't wanna be out and about with my family in a place where people just have guns and they're fucking insane. Like I don't want that. Is that a surprise? It is an objective fact. That does not make things safer. In fact, it makes things more dangerous. Like, it's just an objective fact, and there's no, there's, like, data. Like, I don't know what you want, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, the NRA hosted in Texas, but no, there were, nobody was allowed to have any guns there. <laughs> well, if there's, if there's no guns allowed at the NRA convention, who's going to get all the bad guys? You know what I mean? Like, how? Why, why wouldn't you want your convention to be safer? Like, well, real, like, you know. <laughs> Everybody's allowed to just pack heat anywhere they want except for at NRA events. Because, yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? Who's gonna get the bad guys? I just tuned in. I don't like what I'm hearing. <laughs> yeah, I don't like it either. I don't like it either, bro. <clears throat> Wasn't the president supposed to do that? No, that's an ex-president. Yeah. <clears throat> You don't want an entire legion of psycho fucking rednecks with guns at your convention? Why not? It's gonna be the safest place, right? Why not, man? What's wrong with that? Why are you scared? <laughs> yeah. Why not? <laughs> What's wrong with that? That's what you want the freaking whole country to be. Why wouldn't you want that, you know, in your uh, convention? <laughs> Imagine how epic the the shotgun salute would be at that place. Yeah. All right. Here we go. What's wrong with that? The hypocrisy and corruption and evil is right fucking out in the open. And they know they can do it because they don't get it because they get away with it. It's fucking insane. And now they since they've been getting away with it, they're actually working it more. They're actually starting to push it. It's fucking insane. You can literally raid the fucking capital. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I don't know, man. I gotta focus up.
is what it is. Like, I swear, the, the raid on the fucking Capitol got less coverage than the BLM protests. Like, how? People of color sticking up for their communities? Oh, no! Ah! Bunch of psycho fucking rednecks literally raiding the United States Capitol saying that they're gonna kill elected officials. It's like, eh, they're just goofing around. It's, it's really not a big deal, honestly, when you think about it. It's like. What? Is this real? Like. Holy shit! <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah, I wonder why, Cal. I wonder why. All right. You don't want to. It depends on how lean you're talking, brother. Depends on how competition lean. You don't want to do that for very long, no. No. Because you know, well, yeah, I know. It's just like that's what, that's what I mean. It's like if the corruption, the evil, is like literally right in your face. They're not even being like secret about it, you know what I mean? It's just literally right there out in the open. They know they can do it, so because there's, there's no consequences, so now they're actually pushing. It's psychotic. They've been pushing for a while, but now they're actually been making moves. It's fucking insane. Yeah. Yeah. Scary. For sure. You gotta keep working together, man. You gotta keep doing the good stuff. It's always been like this, but it's definitely scary right now. You gotta keep doing the good stuff. You gotta keep working together. It's always been there. It's, it's building now for sure, but you gotta keep looking out for each other, man. It's, it's tough though, and it can be frustrating for sure, but yeah, I don't know. There we go. A little more weight on. A little more weights. I should have got some water too. Ruby. More water, more water. Fifteen percent is lean. I feel like Michelin Man anywhere fifteen percent. Maybe you weren't fifteen percent then. You know what I mean? Maybe you weren't. But uh, different people have different preferences too, right? Yep. 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 Okay. Now it is a literal objective fact that 
Gun violence goes down when you don't have guns. It's just a literal objective fact. And it's not like, oh, then people just use knives. It's like, no, nope, deaths go down. People are still fucking nuts, yeah, but they can't just kill a bunch of people all at once. It's an objective fact. Those arguments are BS. Not, not buying it. Not even giving it the time of day. Overall balance goes up. Fucking false. No, not true. False. Not true. That is BS. UK knife fight. Literal fucking false. Violence overall does not go up. No, fucking false. That is a false argument. Not true. I'm not giving it the time of day. No. Wrong. Factually inaccurate. No. Not true. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, it sucks that people get stabbed in the UK. It sucks, but you don't have kids getting shot in school every fucking day. You know what I mean? Like, it's fucking insane. And don't pretend it's not. Like, stop. Get a grip. You know what I mean? Like, get a hold of yourself. Not trying to be rude, but come on. Get a fucking grip. What are you? What are you fighting for? If you're not fighting for kids to be safe going to school, then what the fuck are you doing? You know what I mean? If that is not a priority for you, what the fuck are you doing with your life? You know what I mean? Like, how are you aligned morally if you don't care about kids being able to go to school safely without getting shot? Like, what are you even doing? What is your point of existence? How are you oriented? How is it even a thing? Little babies, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it at all. My violence goes up. Shut the fuck up. What about it, Sneaky? Like, what do you mean? What do you, what, what about what? <clears throat> yeah. There we go. Like, I would honestly argue that if your mindset is that you need to carry around a freaking rifle because you feel like you need to be the one to protect your environment, you're the fucking problem. Like, you're not supposed to have a gun because you got your head fucked up. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't have a weapon at all if you think that you need to be the one to protect your environment by carrying around an assault rifle to the airport. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? That is a like, ding, 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 ding. You should not have a weapon. You probably shouldn't drive a car either. You know what I mean? Like, getting fired up over this, man. That is a, that is a red flag. You do not understand how society works. You don't need to take your assault rifle to the grocery store. No, you don't. You got something wrong with your head if you think that's the case. You are in a wrong frame of mind.
Oh my goodness. Okay. Gotta try to squat a little bit. Okay. What's well, not true? I don't know. That's what it is. I don't understand guns. <laughs> what is there to understand, bro? What is there to understand? What is there that I don't understand there? But I mean, you're already timed out for the day, so it's a rhetorical question. If you feel like you need to brush up, you can go watch a four minute YouTube video about how a gun works. Then are you allowed to argue? Because now you understand how the firing mechanism works. Like, okay, now that I have that established, Kids shouldn't get shot in schools. Was your position invalid before that? <laughs> like, <laughs> now that I understand the mechanics of how a gun works, I can say that every country that has outlawed guns has dramatically reduced gun violence, right? The United States continues to just chop top the charts by like 100 times. Every other country does not have that. Now that I understand the mechanics, I can make that argument, right? No. <laughs> You can make an argument just about any time. At the rig. Yeah. The status quo. Glad you're still here. If you would, you know, it could have been different if you were shot, thankfully. You're not shot though, right? Thank goodness that you were here. Yeah. Thank goodness you were here. Because if that individual had had a gun, they could have killed a lot more people, right? Yeah. Thank goodness. I'm glad that you, you're safe. I'm sorry that it happened to you. Yeah. Scary stuff. the argument that you are the victim of knife violence you and your brother were the victims of knife violence you survived whereas that was a gun could have killed 20 people then your argument is guns aren't the problem people are you, you realize that they're not exclusive problems it's not one or the other we can both have people not you know be in positions where they are feeling so threatened and scared all the time that they act out in violence. At the same point, you can also not arm them with weapons of, like, you know, mass murder. You know what I mean? It's not really an either or. But in your own experience, as someone who is unfortunately a victim of violence, you can sort of see the devastation that a knife can unleash versus the devastation that a firearm can unleash, right? That's what we're talking about, Gavin. That's why this is even a thing today. So. Sorry. This is what it is. Yep. This is what it is. Yep. And it's, it's a uncomfortable topic, it's a passion that I'm fairly passionate about, but there comes a time where you gotta talk about it, I guess, right? And I'm upset because it's fucking insane, and it makes things obviously worse in, an, in a situation where they could have made it better, right? So it's really frustrating, yeah. 245. 
or 265. I am not focused though, gotta be, gotta be smart here. Yep. Get rid of them, I'm with you man, I'm with you. That's just the complete opposite direction that they're going, which is fucking insane. Uh, makes no sense. We're only in the USA, man. Holy shit, man. Load some weights. See how it goes. Yeah, it's fucking insane, Amy. The lead gun violence became the leading cause of death in U.S. children. How can you argue? You know what I mean? How can you argue? I, I, I like crunches, perhaps. If you're not trying to protect children with the decisions that you're making when it comes to gun violence, what the fuck are you doing? You know what I mean? Just literal fucking evil. That's what it is. This is thanks for the prime man. Big flex of three months. Thank you, dude. Yeah. Well, I'm pretty fired up, bro. I mean, it's, it is what it is. I, I hate that. Literal fucking evil people, man. Disgusting, rotten people. These decrepit old fucks getting some kind of kickback from making these kind of decisions. I have no, I have, I have no idea. No idea. I mean, I'm not just interested in only protecting kids. I mean, it's good for everybody, but... Yeah, it's insane. And it all, it all goes together, man. It all goes together, dude. Like, breeding, breeding this environment of, like, fear and bigotry and racism, it all goes together. So people feel like they need to be armed because they're constantly under threat. Like, this... this it all fits together, man. And it's about half, right? That's how it goes. You get people, you get people scared and mad all the time, they're gonna wanna they're gonna feel like they need to defend themselves from some sort of like threat. You give them guns, shit goes bad, chaos ensues, the market goes down, the rich people invest in a down market and make a fuck ton of money when they decide to drive it back up. I mean it's Is that it? Is that how it works? Is that the secret? I don't know. It's literally playing with people's lives to make money. I don't know. Is that it? I don't, that's how war works. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Here we go. Maybe it's a tinfoil hat, but I don't know. I don't know. Here we go. Terrifying. Work our way up a bit. Yep. 
I know that you were kidding, but let's not. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. Well, we really fucked up getting that other guy in office, man. Really fucked up. It was a, a lasting problem. A fucking embarrassment and a scar? For sure. But unfortunately, the, the fact that they were to sneak in Supreme Court justices is really fucked. Because that is a pretty protected little bubble, right? They can kind of do what they want. Really sucks. Yeah, really sucks. Thanks in there. Give these, brother. Helping us afford our secure compound. Helping us afford our secure underground cave dwelling that I'm about to go live in. Thank you, bro. My secret, my top secret island underground base. Thank you, thank you, dude. Big flex for you. Keep doing them crunches. Hit him up. Hit him up. Yeah. It did, KB. It did. Yeah. Thank you, bro. Let's see how 295 feels for a couple. We do some tune em upsets here. Some tune em upsets. Very distracted, which is not good. We gotta focus up a little bit. I don't remember what numbers I was doing before for this. I think I was doing like single or something like that. I don't know. too crazy long. How I many rest days? Um, I don't, I don't, I mean, like maybe like once a week, maybe. Uh, I could be in the gym every day if I could. Sometimes I gotta take a rest day or something like that. Uh. You can appreciate the engineering gun making? Yeah. And yeah, maybe some people like collecting guns like Pokemon cards, right? But I would imagine most sane fucking people would be like, yo, if I gotta give up my Pokemon cards to make sure kids are safe in school, and my family's safe at the grocery store, you know, sure, fuck them, take them, take them. But the people who are, who are resisting that are not fucking sane people. That's how it is. Like, I think atomic bombs are, like, interesting. They're terrifying, and I don't want anyone to have them, but it's neat to, like, learn about the science of it, right? It's like, holy shit, that's some dark magic that we should not be playing with that way, you know? Like, but yeah, I don't want people to have atomic bombs. I don't want one. I don't feel safer because there are more atomic bombs in the world, like, no. It's like, that is some dark fucking magic that we should not play with. You know what I'm saying? Like, have we learned nothing from our fantasy the stories that we exist in? Humanity stumbles upon some dark magic with great power, but it also can kill the entire world. Maybe we should be very careful with this. Maybe harness it for energy or something. Maybe not weaponize it, you know what I mean? Like, so yeah, like, it's kind of interesting, yeah. But, like you're saying, <laughs> You don't need to have them out and about just because they're kind of neat from an engineering perspective. I know that that's, you know, that's not what you're arguing that they, they should be there. I'm just, I'm, I'm with you. Like, yeah. Yeah. With the planet? Yeah, exactly. It's, it's like I said, it's like dark magic. Very powerful stuff. Potentially even useful to advanced technology, but also very dangerous and could destroy the whole world, you know? Pretty insane.
<clears throat> I would imagine sometimes, calorie, yeah, sometimes, yeah. Yep. Yep. Sometimes, I bet, probably their personal one that they sit have polished in their little case, you know. Here we go. Just one. Just one. Doing like that, kind of. Doing a pretty, pretty distracted like that. Yeah, pretty distracted like that. Just working, working in some singles. Hardly any volume. Hardly any volume. Just, just some little tune-ups. I'll put them up on the screen, but yeah, just a little tune-ups. Yep. Because we got the meet on Monday, so we're trying to be smart, right? Yep. Just a little form practice. Uh. <laughs> I can't wait to play Dragonflight this year, Copium. And <laughs> yeah, we'll see. We'll see, huh? I'm using a Blue Yeti mic, I'm just using one of my old PCs. Oh, to me, yep. 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 Yeah, I'll do a little light one during the, uh, before the meeting, yeah. I'm just trying to get some form practice in right now. last time, but we'll see. I think it was 355, right? Something like that. Too bad, but it does feel pretty heavy. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, violence is scary. So, what happens when that person attacking the woman takes the gun from the woman and kills the whole fucking family? Like, it doesn't, it, it's not a guaranteed saving thing. Looking out for each other, making sure areas are more safe, is good, yes. But more guns doesn't make it more safe, man. It just doesn't. It does not, it objectively does not make it more safe. It just doesn't. There may be some situations where, yeah, lethal force helps somebody try to shoot someone and someone shoots them instead. I mean, I, that is a net gain, sure, that's good, when I mean, that happens, I guess, but that's one situation amongst the grand scheme of things where there's just hundreds of times where, I don't know if that's a number, it, like a ton more gun violence in the United States than anywhere else, right? This doesn't make sense. Doesn't make any sense. There are, there are better ways to protect a parking lot rather than arming everybody in the parking lot, you know what I mean? So, yeah.
think we can do 20 more pounds if we, if we kind of mean business. Not feeling crazy strong today. I mean, it's like, I don't know, man. There are some situations in which a bad situation ends up with a positive outcome. That's good, you know? That's good. Doesn't mean that that situation is a good situation to put people in. And doesn't mean that there are much safer ways for that situation to be, right? Probably get anything out of it, really? You don't think 355? I think we did 355 last time. Yeah. Right, yeah, suicide too, yeah, exactly. That, 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 that terrible that somebody can make a, uh, be in a bad state and make a bad decision and have it end everything. Yeah, for sure. That one, that, that leg day did feel pretty bad. Yeah, it did. Well, not bad, it felt pretty tough, I should say. What was my last leg day? Was it really from, it wasn't from that long ago. Let me, let me look, let me look. Takes a lot more to pull the trigger than you think? Sure, however, sometimes it's less than you wish it was, right? All right, I'm gonna try to do five more pounds than before, right? Do 355, and then we'll be done. There we go. There we go. Let's try again. I'm pretty sure I can do this. Do you think that the stats would suggest that there's more survivals from that situation? A little snazzy? Because I would, I would probably imagine so, huh? Even if that was true, right? Which Mordia says is not, so. Yeah. Then we go 365. <laughs> I mean, it's moving pretty good. I think we do one more 365. Oh, I don't think it's an either or scenario, Snazzy. It's like saying, I know this is a terrible like example, but it's like, it's like saying floaties in a pool don't make you safer. It's like, no, you need to learn to swim. Floaties don't make that safer. It's like, no, you were, you make the situation safer. It's like lifeguards, you know, shouldn't be necessary. It's like, no, they make the situation safer. It's okay to, to set yourself up for success in terms of, you know, a high, uh, like a long, healthy life where you learn things. It's good. It's good to do that. It's okay to make a situation safer also by removing potential dangerous things, right? It's like, it's, an, it's a no-brainer, you know what I mean? Like, You can argue in a different perspective, but it just doesn't really make much sense. Yeah, lots of friends that hunt or swarm with the guns. Really good to hear that. Glad to hear it. Cool anecdotal evidence. Glad to hear it. I would say if those guys are unwilling to give up their guns <laughs> to make the world a safer place, then who cares if they're safe with their guns and hunting, right? It's like, would you? I think a lot of people, a lot of people who like are normal, rational people, would be like, yeah. I like my guns, 
But uh, if, if it was important, if we made a decision to not have guns in our country anymore, we'd give them up. No problem, right? Most people would do that. So, I mean, I did. Do I even need to do another one? Do I even need to? I like the way it feels. I kind of would like to do one more. But sometimes that one more is getting cute. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder. A th just like a, a 365 would be a nice little confidence builder, I think. Just, just knowing that we can do it would be, would be kind of good. Yeah. I know, I'm pretty sure I can do it, but that'd be, that'd be nice, because then I could go to 365, like, right off the bat and meet, maybe. If the government could guarantee it would make things every sure then, can they? Absolutely. Literally every other country in the world that did it is dramatically safer from gun violence. Yes. There is overwhelming evidence. Yes. It is a fact that it makes it safer. Yes. Snazzy, don't be a fucking idiot, okay? I'm just going to be just be straightforward with you. Don't be a fucking idiot, okay? When we're talking about this kind of stuff. Pardon my French. Pardon my directness. But come on. All right. Come on. A country under invasion is in a different situation, right? Yeah. It's not a conflicting information, bro. You're, you're intentionally, deliberately missing the point by a mile. Yeah. It's like, well, this country that's at war isn't safer. It's like, we're not talking, I mean, bro, I'm talking about the United States, bro. That's all we need to do today. Cool. All right. <clears throat> like if, if your if your real true answer is in light of all the overwhelming evidence of every country that has removed guns getting dramatically safer overall and nearly eradicating gun violence. If your thing is, but what about this country that is being invaded by its neighbor? It's like, that's a completely different situation. And you know that. That's why I'm saying, don't be a fucking idiot. <laughs> and I don't need to explain that to you. Because you know that you're trolling. <laughs> but we'll still do it. Here we go. That's it for now. 365 is good. A little tuna. A little tuna. 365 is 
a reasonable lift number two for the beam, I think. Didn't feel too bad, but that's, I think that's as much as I need to do today. Yeah. Yeah. Who is going to invade the United States, Nazi? That's not what we're talking about, bro. <laughs> are, you, are you worried about threat of invasion? Our military has like 14 billion trillion dollars invested in every free, and we're an economic power. Who's going to invade the United States? If we needed to, like, hey, bros, we're getting invaded. We could give, there's more guns in the United States than people. Like, we would figure it out. They could just hand them out. We have Amazon. It would be literally dropped to your house by a drone. Fucking four, you know, military-grade rifles. We would be fine. Me in the meantime, in the meantime, Was like, I've been to it. Yeah, it was, and there's no consequences. <laughs> and there's no consequences. It was invaded by white people, so it's fine. It's fine. They were just goofing around. They were, yeah, they were saying they were gonna like murder and rape people, but they were just playing around. This is not a big deal, right? That is part of the fucking insanity, yes. They were just gonna, they were just saying they were gonna kill, they were chanting that they were gonna kill elected officials. Not a big deal, they're white, they're just playing around. You know, like. And all of a sudden, that's, you might not wanna shoot them, you know what I mean? <laughs> like realistically, if that can be resolved peacefully, that's good. That's a good thing. But yeah, it's very interesting that they weren't just mowed down, huh? Very interesting. Yeah, it's very interesting. I'm glad that nobody, you know, well, that's not nobody died. I think police officer died. But I'm glad that the, the death toll was not more significant. I would imagine that people were kind of hoping that it was more significant so they could actually make a, a more of a war out of it or something like that. But yeah. I'm glad that it was not more violent. I'm sad that it happened at all. I don't think those people were running there with guns, though, were they? Thank goodness, right? Thank goodness. It, that, that whole situation would have been way, way worse if people had guns and started shooting, don't you think? Just objectively. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Not, not a good one, Calorie. Not a good one, bro. Not a good one. Uh. But the people who were invading the capital are the same people, basically, who want more guns. They're on the same team as why, bro. They were protected. Yeah. This is what it is. It is what it is. Yeah. Ukraine is also getting shipped all kinds of weaponry from a lot of different countries, including the United States. So it's not because every Ukrainian citizen before war happened was packing an entire arsenal, right? They're in war. They're getting sent a lot of supplies from countries that are either sympathetic to their cause or against Russia's cause, right? So keep that in mind. Again, don't be intentionally ignorant, right? Cookies and cream is great. I don't, I don't prefer banana flavors. Yeah, just your name, Lance, and you'd be in prison, brother. Yeah. Yep. Almost like what the French did for seven times for America. Yeah, I mean it's happened all the time, ever since then. Like, but and before then too. Yeah. Very different. 
Yeah. It's true. Not, not a new concept, that. But because countries are so willing to give guns to support a cause that they're interested in, maybe we don't just need to be packing heat and carrying it around all the time when we're mostly just pretty good. You know? Yep. All right. That's like serious. What do you mean by minority populations? Right, I'm just saying that squeezing a trigger and ending someone's entire life or ending multiple people's entire lives, that's just not something I trust people with. I think there are really good ways to look out for each other and build safer, more trusting um, communities than saying, everyone gets a gun, and if anybody makes you mad, you just let them have it. Self-defense, you know, like, no. Look out for each other. Keep an eye on, out, you know, on like what's going on. You know, look at yourself as a community working together to allow everybody to live happily and, and safely, right? That's a good thing. Fostering like distrust and fear amongst people, like, not the way to do it. Not the way to do it. All right. Sometimes I do extra stuff, but I don't really know if I need to, right? Just because you can disagree with different views doesn't mean you have to hate them when I end them. True, but not everybody does that. Some people are fucking insane. And I don't trust them. And I don't want to have a gun to defend myself from their gun. I want no guns. So I can be like, I'm going to go away, and you're fucking nuts. And I'm just going to mind my own business. But I don't really have to worry that they're going to like just snap and start shooting people. And I would argue that if you, in your head, walk around your environment thinking that you need to be ready to shoot anybody around you, you're nuts and you should not have a gun and you shouldn't drive and you need to seek help. You're the problem. You know what I mean? Like, and there's a lot of people like that because they're sitting around watching Fox News getting told that they're under attack and it's like they're just on edge. It's not good. It's not good. But that's, that's normal people things to do. Have a heated argument, yell at each other, express your opinions, be passionate. That's a normal person thing to do. And then and have a beer with your buddy. That's great. That's perfect. But that's not how most, that's not, well not most, that's not how some people work. And one person can do a lot of damage if they can pull a trigger and kill somebody, you know what I mean? I mean, like, as a kid, you know, like, you get mad at your friend, you're actually mad at him. You guys, like, fight it out, then you go hang out. Yep. Blakey, I'm sure that there are some situations where, where a bad situation ended up, and, like, okay, thank goodness, right? But I would rather just, instead of, like, one person with a gun had to save another, had to save you know, people from this person with a gun by shooting them. I'd rather just, this person's nuts, everybody else in the church is fine. This guy comes in and says, hey, I'm mad. And it's like, who the fuck is this guy? And he just leaves. It's way better than one person being killed in order to have other people not be killed, right? It's a shitty situation. The psycho being the one who dies is like, I guess better. But wouldn't it be better if just nobody had to die? Yeah, people are like, why are you not mad about Diablo Immortal being pay to win? It's like, are you fucking kidding me? Don't you think that they are trying to steal people's money with this mobile video game? Why aren't you more upset? Because are, are you aware of the fucking world and what we're dealing with? I don't care about this dinky little mobile game that's fun to play, like, and I can put money in if I want to. That is not a concern. I know. <laughs> it doesn't matter. This matters. You know what I mean? This matters. Why do people want semi automatic rifles over nothing? I don't know, because they're fucking nuts. That's what I'm saying. Like, that, that is a red flag. If you want to, if you want to walk around with a fucking assault rifle strapped to your chest at an airport, you've got something wrong with you. Not, and just being like, it's legal, I can do it, is like, yeah, but like, at what point, it's legal to carry that weapon around, but when you start deciding to shoot people, 
Like, that happens instantly, and the cops have to, like, keep an eye on you, and it's like, if, if they want to talk to you, be like, hey, sir, I know what you're doing is legal, but it's kind of freaking people out. And then there's tension. Things can get really weird really fast. It's not good for the cops in that situation either. I, I really, I don't know if anybody is like, wow, that guy's got an assault rifle strapped to his chest. I really feel safe right now. And I don't think the cops are like, wow, look at that upstanding citizen ready to defend his country. I'm glad he's here. I can take it easy now. Hell no. They're like, what the fuck is this psycho doing? It's technically legal, but like, what if we, like, I gotta keep an eye on this dude to make sure he's not gonna start shooting people. Like, this is some, like, like, soul-crushingly obvious shit that people are just like, mm-mm. Like, contrary to fact, contrary to common sense, contrary to, like, normal human experience. And they still want to pretend like they don't get it. So yeah, it makes me upset. I'd rather feel unsafe than safe people walking around with guns while talking. Yeah. Only in America. Yeah, I know. I know. It's fucking insane. It's fucking insane. Oh, well. Jim, after injuries, you gotta take it easy. You gotta ease back in. Yeah. 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 Snazzy, brother, I'm just gonna ban you, bro, okay? I think you're being deliberately inflammatory. I tried, to t I tried to tell you a couple times now. You just keep saying, but what about this? And it's just like completely off base, man. I'm just gonna ban you. Yeah, this is what it is. Most people are not inflicting murder on somebody, mass murder with marijuana. Not usually. They're not injecting people with marijuana and killing them. <laughs> They're not smoking in their direction and just causing them to die. It's a different situation, brother. And I, and I know that you get it. I know that you understand, which is why I'm gonna have to ban you. It's because you're intentionally doing, like sharing these like weird butt ifs that don't make any fucking sense. And I feel like you're doing that in bad faith. So I'm gonna have to ban you. Yeah. Yeah, people, people dying from drug overdoses and addiction is bad, but like, what are we talking about? This is another bad thing. It's like, it is. We should also work on that. <clears throat> oh, anyway. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so, Threader. This morning's been exhausting. Yeah, well, I mean, we got some half-decent squat work in. I'm gonna go for a walk with my wife. Try to get some sun. Take care of each other, guys. The... Not to get too weird, but the battle of good and evil has been going on for a long, long time, and it's gonna keep on going. Greed corrupts. Power potentially corrupts. It just happens. And you gotta keep trying to do the good stuff. Try, keep trying to put the good vibes out there. It can be an exhausting battle, but it is what it is. It's not gonna stop. But I think the best thing to do is keep trying to be a good person. Keep trying to do the good things. Keep looking out for each other. Keep seeing yourself as a member of a community. Like if you're a little small community, a bigger community, the world community. And if we kind of make our decisions based off of empathy, I think it's gonna lead us into a good place, right? If you find yourself making decisions out of fear, or trying to divide, it might not be the way to go about it. So, we'll keep working on it, I'll keep working on it, we'll keep trying to have our, our little community, little tiny little gaming and lifting community be a place where we can have discussions that are passionate without being too rude, even though I might call you a fucking idiot, if you're being a fucking idiot. Um, We'll keep trying to do our thing though, alright? I'm gonna go for a walk with my wife. I'll see you guys um, this evening for gaming. We're gonna go ahead and take the day off to chill with my wife. That was, that was part of the plan already, but it, it's a good fit right now. And uh, we'll see you guys tonight for some games. Peace. I did answer your question, Banana. Take it easy.